सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक विद अ न्यू लेक्चर इन प्लांट एनाटमी एंड एम्बियोलॉजी हेयर आई एम योर टीचर मोनिका गुलेरिया एंड यू यू आर न्यू देन यू कैन सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर न्यू अपडेट्स सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट anomalous kendri growth in borabia anomalous kendri growth is a abnormal type of kendri growth that occurs due to deviations from normal kendri growth and this deviation has been found in many angiosperm and various deviations related to abnormalities are irregularity in the activity of vascular cambium occurrence of successively formed cambia in the same stem occurrence of accessory vascular bundle in the pith called medullary bundles and cortical bundles so in borabia there is abnormal position of cambium with abnormal activity and formation of successive rings of cambia which develop either in the form of concentric rings or segments The primary structure of Borabia is as normal structures and the secondary structure is with abnormal secondary growth. The primary structure shows outermost single layer epidermis followed by chlorenchymatous and cholenchymatous hypodermis. The cortex is few layered and consists of chlorenchymatous and parenchymatous cells with intercellular spaces. and endodermis is distinct uh, single layered and consist of thin wall tubular cells and pericycle consist of thin wall living cells and the secondary growth begins with the formation of cambium strips in an interfascicular areas in outer rings of vascular bundles and these interfascicular cambium strips join with fascicular cambium strips to form a complete ring of cambium and this cambium produces cambry xylem vessels towards inner side in fascicular region and parenchymatous cells in interfascicular region and the parenchymatous cell produced towards inner side in interfascicular area becomes lignified and form sclerenchymatous conjunctive tissue ठीक है इन डायग्राम यू कैन सी द कंजक्टिव टिश्यू क्लियरली दिस कंजक्टिव टिश्यू इज फॉर्म टूवर्ड्स आउटर साइड क्लियर एंड द कैम्बियम प्रोड्यूस इज स्टोरेज पेरेंकाइमा एंड स्कैंड्री फ्लोएम हेयर इज स्कैंड्री फ्लोएम टूवर्ड्स आउटर साइड द स्कैंड्री फ्लोएम इज फॉर्म टूवर्ड्स आउटर साइड एट प्लेसेज अपोजिट टू जाइलम वेसल्स The activity of this cambium ring continues for a definite period and then stop its activity. The new cambium strip developed from parenchymatous cells produced by first cambium ring. Here is the first cambium ring. This one and this is the second uh, second ring. Clear students? So this first cambium ring towards the outer side of secondary tissue these strips develop in the interfascicular areas these strips join with the new extrafascicular uh, cambial strips formed from pericycle lying external to secondary phloem both kind of cambium strips join to form a second ring of cambium and the activity of this cambium is same as that of first ring the activity of this second ring Uh, of cambium again stops after producing a definite amount of secondary growth and third ring is formed this means that the same process is repeated about four or five successive cambium rings are produced and giving rise to four or five concentric growth ring like this first ring and this second ring how many concentric growth ring occur four or five in case of prostate stem it has been observed that growth rings are more strongly developed in the lower side as compared to upper side whereas these are symmetrical in uh, erect upright stems simultaneously along with secondary growth by activity of cambium ring 
in outer bundle the secondary growth also occurs in inner most and middle ring of medullary bundle this secondary growth is confined within bundles and the secondary growth is more pronounced in two large vascular bundle in the center of the stem this clear the fascicular cambium give rise to secondary xylem towards inner side and secondary phloem towards outside that the primary uh, phloem gets crushed outer protective covering is formed by the activity of cor cambium uh, and which develops in hypodermal colenchyma it produces cork towards outer side and secondary cortex towards inner side and the cork layer cork cambium and the secondary cortex form perigam uh, this was all about the abnormal secondary growth or anomalous secondary growth in borabia borabia is Uh, dicot it is included in dicots and having dicot stem clear students so, uh, so from diagram it was clear that there occurs uh, about four or five concentric rings after the secondary formations or cambial activities so uh, there we studied about uh, the abnormal or anomalous secondary growth in dicot stem and we have the example uh, of borabia in our next lecture we will discuss about anomalous secondary growth in monocots and in monocots here is question for you in monocots which which examples we can discuss or what are the examples of abnormal or anomalous secondary growth in monocots and students write down your answers in comment section and i will appreciate your answers thank you for watching